Hey, Vamir. Uh, this is just a showcase of what the build is able to do. So for this first part, it's only like doing random essences on a low tier map, which is how I made most of my currency uh, to be able to afford the uniques for this build. Uh, as I said, I don't know what the unique price will be next league, but this league it was super cheap. And yeah, as you can see, yeah, like this is super, super low tier, so there's no challenge, of course. It's only to get the essences, right? On low tier, there's pretty much no chaos damage, so we're fine. As I said, I still need to work on a way to find some chaos resistance, because it's the biggest weakest of the build right now. Since our chaos resistance is below uh, zero, maybe I'll craft another ring, something better. I just don't know it just yet. I'm on only level 92, too, so maybe once I get someone level, I can do something better. I don't think this build will get to like Uber uh, Killer. I think like there's a certain cap to the damage you can do. But still for clearing and the speed of it is pretty cool so right now i'm really having fun with it uh, we'll see if we can make this uh like an end game viable build but i doubt it will be able to kill ubers but the normal version of course like with, without any problem so what i did with the essences is instead of selling them i actually crafted with those if you want to see what I actually did I did a video about it and I have what to do with every single essences those are just examples but you can like take some information from it and copy that uh, especially early league they will always be uh, super high in demand because most other people do not craft their gear themselves so you can take advantage of that and just be the one who Take their currency while you're crafting what i really enjoy about the build is that you can just lay down a trap here and there and just keep moving so you don't have to actually wait sometimes you will have to backtrack because like let's say it drops divine or something and it will be uh, it will be gone already but this is the case with most like delayed damage poison or traps so I know some people do not like playing with traps. Personally, I really enjoy it. And yeah, the uh, saboteur ascendancy is still pretty good. So now that we like went over the low tier, and now I actually started uh, started getting some essences to craft and make some profit. I'll showcase a T16 that also has a essence with six essence modifier. So now with the T16. As you can see, we can still clear pretty much everything. We just land a single trap here and there, and it's fine. Whenever you encounter rare mods, uh, rare mobs, you can curse them if you want, or you can just add some more traps. Just make sure you keep a track on your the number of traps you have out, because you never want to be out with zero traps. And yeah, so now. When we will see the essence, we'll just stack as many traps as possible before activating the essence. And you can do the same for boss, boss phases and stuff like that. So this is why I enjoy traps so much. So here's the T16 essence. So we'll just corrupt it with the remnant of corruption and then Lay down a bunch of traps as you can see here and then yeah you unleash it and already a bunch of life is gone from the sense because we're stacking our, our damage so this is why playing trap build is super good i know it's not for everyone but still i really enjoy it so now we'll just finish the map and as you can see, like clearing anything is pretty easy. One single trap will clear pretty much everything. And since we're using Saboteur, we're actually blinding the enemies. So for the most part, we're fine in melee. And then we'll have a couple of bosses. So you can see what I meant by stacking damage up front. I didn't kill every single boss, but... Uh, 
I killed Osho Abi a couple of times because it was uh, pretty rewarding. Behold, Killing yours was guaranteed profit. So, and since we were doing a zero to hero challenge, uh, I want to keep my focus on like making as much currency as possible and being as efficient as possible. So this is why I was killing Yashabi because it's guaranteed money. But as you can see here, she dies pretty fast. It takes around 40 seconds to kill her. And just to make sure this isn't just luck, I'll kill her again. And as I said, it's guaranteed money, so it's pretty good. Okay, here we have Eater of World. As you can see, this is in the quest version. So just keep in mind that the quest version is much easier than <laughs> like this. But uh, you can see how easy it is. The defenses are, are fine and the damage is pretty good. As I said, I don't think this will be a uber killer because you can see like it still takes some time to killing the normal version out of it. So, of course, I could scale that way more than it is right now, but still, I, I'm doing fine with the current version. So, as a league starter, I think it would be just fine. So here we have the Searing Exarch, as you can see again, it's not the, um, the quest one, it's an invitation which is rare, so remember that it's way different than the quest version, so, but the, our damage is still fine, the only problem about it is that I failed the, the ball. Uh, like dodging the ball, so I actually died for, for it. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. the The reason why I died is that I hit multiple balls. I think we can still tank one or two, but I hit like three at the same time, so and death for this group. But yeah, as you can see, the damage is pretty good, right? Uh, here comes the ball phase, so you will see. I don't know why I, I fucked this one, so go to the yeah. See now that three balls hit me. I don't know why I went there. Uh, that that was just a skill issue and not the build issue. So yeah, it happens. But since we died already, we can just skip the ball phase and and go back to our business again. Whenever it changes phase, we can just stack up a bunch of them, and then uh, yeah, we'll do a bunch of damage. Thought I was able to like one shot it, but had to out. Maybe I could you be using Culling Strike on my Bear Trap first. Some other skills, I just don't know yet, because I have some uh, sockets that are free. So the last thing I want to talk about before leaving is that 
The bane of this build is reduce cooldown recovery. Since we're stacking so much cooldown recovery, uh, having this modifier on the map, as you can see on the right side, is pretty bad because we have to wait for our traps. Or, yeah, we cannot just like freely shoot them everywhere. So yeah, we have to keep track of the like the number of traps we have. But as you can see, even though there's uh, less cooldown recovery on this map, we're still doing okay. As as I said, it's not as fast because we have to wait for our traps. But it doesn't break the build. It's not like a a no regen map for uh, let's say a righteous fire build or something like that we s we're still fine and like go through the map but it will just be slower and especially on bosses because like normally we can stack up to 13 traps but with this this setup 4 or 5 is kind of the max so it will take some more time killing the boss, but as you can see, we're still doing it. We're not dying in any or anything, so it's just slower to kill the boss. Hopefully, this helped you. As always, take care, guys.